All right, Lindley, today we're going to be looking at acids and bases and how they work with indicator solutions. And we've got two beakers here. The first one has some vinegar in it. And what do we know about vinegar? It's an acid. It's an acid. And the second one has ammonia. And ammonia is a? Base. A base. So we see those sitting there, but there's something else in this first one that you can't see. And it's called phenophthalene solution. Uh, phenophthalene is, an, is a base indicator, and when you put that in a base solution, an alkaline solution, it's going to do something to let you know that the solution is alkaline. So what I'm going to have you do, I just want you to take that first beaker and I want you to just very slowly pour that, pour the vinegar and the phenophthalene into our ammonia there. Let's just watch what happens. So do we notice the color change taking place? Yes. Okay, it's turning pink. I just want you to keep pouring. Pour all of that in there. Okay, so what happened now? It turned clear. Okay, turned clear again. We got a little bit of the foam still on top, but the liquid has turned clear. And why do you think that is? Because of the chemical reaction. Well, there is a chemical reaction taking place in there. But what happened when we had our acid and we poured it into the base? We had mostly base in here, right? We just poured a little bit of that acid in but it's still mostly ammonia. But once we kept pouring, we had more what in here? We had more of the vinegar. So as we poured more vinegar, that turned the solution acidic again. And when phenophthalene's in an acidic solution, do we see a color? Yes. Remember we had it in our acidic solution, did we see a color there? No. No, it was clear. So our solution, once it got more of the acid, more of the vinegar in there, it turned clear again. So we're able to have kind of that disappearing pink color effect. But it's all because of that acid and base reacting together with the phenophthalene. 